Oh, look, it's, uh, I think it's pretty open, right? So I think the betting's quite wide there too. Um, Blackthorn's coming after a rest. I haven't had him that long, um, but he's doing well. Um, Aragosta comes off two good runs. And um, Union Square's been a bit disappointing, but I think, given his female line, he should like the trip and the blinkers are off. And we put cheek pieces on Aragosta, hoping that will make a difference. So, would the former two Blackthorn and Aragosta be likely aimed at the Gold Cup? Yeah, that is their mission, ultimately. Right, then we go to White Pearl uh, in race five. Yeah, she's a nice filly. Uh, she's you know, going to want a mile even as well. Um, good last win. Uh, Platina Princess has done the form, no harm. Um, and a filly that must be included. Super, give me another chance. His favourite, entitled to be favourite, looks very, very promising. Yeah, he's a nice horse. He's, uh, you know, he's still got to get luck in running from the draw. doesn't matter how good they are. I've seen some very good ones get beat from, from draws like that. So uh, He's going to need a lot of luck. Um, fortunately, a couple of what I look, to me looked like quite good two-year-olds defected to the sales race. So it does help a bit. But still, it's a very competitive field. And um, you know, I always say trainers are not running them because they think they can't run. So um, he's going to have to up his game even more. He comes from draw one last time, this time he's draw 13. And I think the horse has now drawn one that he beat, was drawn wide last time. So um, there could be a swing around in form. I mean, it's not impossible. Dave the King, since we last spoke, I mean, his gallop was a revelation. Uh, you expressed a measure of reservation about him getting the 2200 meters. On pedigree, there doesn't seem to be a problem, but as he, as you said, he's quite an aggressive horse. He's an aggressive horse. He's a big striding horse. That's why he may seem more aggressive than he actually is. Uh, his female line is pretty fast. It's mainly only up to a mile. Um, the male lines in the family, i.e. the sire and the dam sire, all have stamina. So, uh, you know, at, um, I don't know which the influence is going to be. My gut feel is, on what I see at home, he's a very, very quick horse. He's got a lot of speed, which is one likes to see in good horses. So if you look at the gallop on face value, it's like taking a knife to a gunfight because he is such an imposing animal and it looked like Safe Passage was hard-pressed to stay with him, but you've always said that Safe Passage, is, he always just saves his best for the race day. Well, if one looks at form, Dave the King, first run, comes out, wins at 1,200. Uh, safe Passage... Wouldn't run in the first 10 in a 1200. Uh, in fact, first run run last in a 14. So it's, that just shows you the difference between the two horses. You know, even a mile for safe passage these days is way too short. He's, you know, he's going mile and a half plus, uh, 10 furlongs plus is where he wants to be. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's never been a horse that inspires much confidence at home. He just, you know, gets to the racetrack and does the job. So everything's gone spot on for him. You you wouldn't trade places with anybody with Safe Passage. No, I can't. Uh, he's, he's he's way sounder than he's ever been. Looks great. Uh, you know, all he's got to do is, is produce on the day. Okay, you've got a filly uh, called Humdinger who's just continues to improve every time she runs, and maybe a mile's at the end of her her range but she's got Desert Miracle to back her up and two hugely strong runners to to take on Princess Keller. Yeah there's um look Hamling is a seven furlong specialist um and Desert Miracle does very well from a sprint into a, into a, an, into the a targeted race um she's still got to find three links on Princess Keller whether she can or can't I, I don't know Princess Keller wasn't stopping and she's won a mile at Turf and Teen in a good time so she gets the mile, there's no problem. However, her best form seems to have been in the sprints, but I mean, that's just an assumption. So the Sumion factor has to enter the fray. I mean, this the man is a genius, and he's not only just a great jockey, he's also part and parcel of the Decoq DNA in a way. Yeah, I mean, as I've stated numerous times, we're family friends, and it's really fantastic to have him out here in a big meet. Uh, he gets on very, very well with all of us, all, you know, and he's a friend of Mary's. Uh, it's fantastic to have him in the saddle. Let's hope that he can, uh, you know, uh, that the horses run well enough for people to see his ability on the day. Um, he knows us fairly well, and uh, you know, I don't think you know more needs to be said.
Hey, go to the line, Samanga Kamala, the Silvano, Lugabos Drift and Marie.